Hey guys, King Cade here, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to model a gun on Blender. Let's get right into this. So first of all, what we obviously want to do is delete everything over here. Go ahead and go into this point of view right here, and click Shift A. Go down to where it says Image and Reference, and go ahead and add your reference image. Here's the reference image that I'm gonna be using. So yeah, let's go ahead and just move that back a little bit. By the way, at any point in this video, if y'all are confused on which buttons I am clicking, you can look down here at the bottom right and it shows you exactly what buttons I am clicking. So yeah. Also, if you are looking for a reference image, what I recommend doing is if you're looking for a regular gun, just look up gun side view on Google. Or if you're looking for a stylized gun, look up stylized gun on Google. And then images such as this one will go ahead and pop up. So what we are going to do, let's start off with the thing where the bullets come out from. So let's go ahead and add in a cylinder. You make this however detailed you want it to be. I'm going to make it kind of not too detailed. I'll add a 16 just like this. Which actually I'll go ahead and make that 8. So let me go ahead and add in a cylinder. So yeah, so you make this however realistic you want it to be. I'm kind of going for a low poly look. So, so we're just going to rotate this 90 degrees, scale it down as well, and we're just going to pretty much outline the gun. So, so over here, we can also hold down Z to go into wireframe just like this, and we just want to go ahead and line that up. Let's select this front face right here, line it up right there, select this back face, go like this, scale it down, and also maybe add a small bevel to that front. Let's just duplicate this actually, so, so shifty, scale it down a little bit, move it out. And since this has like these kind of little bumps on it, what we are going to do is add two loop cuts just like this. Control B to bevel it and then Alt E to extrude it inward. There we go. And now it has this kind of look right there. And also since this is the front of the gun, we'll click I to inset and then E to extrude it inward just like this. And there we go. That is the front of the gun. Hold down Z to go back into wireframe. Make sure we're on face select. And now what we are going to do is we're going to hold down I to inset and just kind of move it inward and just like that let's actually scale it up a little bit so there we go now we just want this to go right there we're going to click e to extrude click then s and there we go so there we go that is the front of our gun right there now once we're on this next part of the gun what we want to do is so this part is kind of circular so what we'll actually do is shift d to duplicate this face and let's rotate it so this top part is kind of flat just like that and now we'll scale it up to match there we go and E to extrude down here. Actually, instead, what we can do to make it easier is we can scale this down just like this, just like that. And to make it easier, what we can do is we can select all these side faces just like this. And then we can click Alt E, extrude them along normals just like this. Also, what we'll do is we'll click Alt E just like this, extrude them for just a little bit. And now we'll select these two faces just like this. And then these two bottom ones. And let's just extrude them outward just a little bit, just like that. And now we'll select these top ones and bottom ones as well. And we'll also extrude them outward. There we go. And there we go. That is looking pretty good now. So we'll come back and add more detail to that later on. Let's click this and go back into edit mode. And all right, so back into edit mode, let's select this front face right here. And we gotta make sure we select the front one. There we go. And now we're gonna click Shift D, move it all the way back. And so right here, what we are gonna do is just scale it up until it about matches. And there we go. Now E to extrude and scale it up. And we'll just add a kind of flat surface right there. And now what I'll do, I'll click Shift D to duplicate it. And let's go ahead and just move it over here so we can see it. So let's scale it down until it about matches this part right here. There we go. I think that actually gets a little bit smaller. So we'll go like this to bevel it. Then we'll suck this front face once again. Shift D, scale it up, move it over, I to inset, there we go, move it over again, E, scale it up, move it over, and then it looks like it about ends right there, so I'll scale it down, move it out, and then scale it up just like this, E once again, move it up, and there we go, that's looking pretty good, we can always edit that later on so it doesn't have to be perfect right now, and there we go, this is our current gun, it does look kind of weird, but that's because we didn't add any of the main parts just yet, so now we want to make sure that we are back into the wireframe, so let's add in a plane let's go into edit mode click m and merge them at the center make sure we're on vertices select so we can see what we're selecting a to, a to select everything and what we'll do is we'll make this part right here first so let's go ahead and move it up to any point and about right here will work we're just going to click e then click on the screen to keep it in place 
use this to move it over here and now we're going to click e again to move it right over here and not really sure where this goes i think it goes inside so right there and now e again move it all the way down here there we go now e again move it over here and we're pretty much just outlining the main part of the gun right now so e move it up there e once again move it somewhere up there and then we'll just go ahead and hold down shift select both of these and merge them at the center so we'll make that part look better later on but for now what we'll do is select a point hover over the point click l and then click f to fill it in now let's move this over just a little bit not all the way because we do want a little bit of the gun to kind of be poking through just like that now we'll click e to extrude it over and there we go so now what we'll do select this part again let's select these top faces and this bottom face and whenever we're selecting faces what we actually want to do is we don't want to select these inner parts because that kind of rounds it off so there we go around right there yep that looks pretty good and now go back into this view vertices select once again select any vertice click uh shift d to duplicate it move it over and now we're just going to do this bottom part right here so we're going to move one vertice right there one right there select this one and then we'll click Control b to bevel it if we're doing just one vertice we have to click Control b v as well and then we can bevel it just like this there we go and now let's move this one down here let's move one right there and one right here and there we go and now we'll worry about that bottom part later let's just grab this one right here e to extrude and let's just move it along this thing right there e to extrude once again move it down and we're just outlining the wooden piece right now so we'll do that bottom part later so there we go grab this one let's move it right there and then another right there click Control b v and bevel it move it over a little bit more and now this one we'll just kind of make our own little bevel there we go now move it downward and now for this bottom part we'll actually extrude it so instead we'll click e and we'll select both of these ones right click actually no we gotta click m and we gotta merge them let's merge them at this point right there and that is the outline of the bottom part of the gun so what we're gonna do is click l on one vertice click f to fill it in and now go ahead and kind of align it e to extrude we can always kind of make it a little bit bigger later on so it doesn't really matter too much right now so there we go it is kind of looking a little bit weird but we are gonna make a few changes we'll actually go like this e to extrude and then scale it up a little bit more we'll scale on the x-axis a little bit actually what we'll do is we'll move it down there we go and now we'll extrude it so it has kind of that little slant just like that and now for this part right here what we'll do is we need to click tab go into edit mode select a vertice shift d to duplicate it and now we want to outline this inner part of the gun so just like this we just want to outline this thing right here so there we go now we're going to select one vertice l f there we go go back into solid view move it out a little bit extrude it through the gun just like this now we're going to select this whole piece right here l then click p selection there we go now we're going to click this one, then the gun right here. Go to the wrench and add a boolean modifier. Go to make sure it's on difference. Select this little eyedropper. Select this part, then click apply just like this. Then we can go ahead and delete this. And there we go. Now we ha should have a little part through our gun. Let's go ahead and right click and click shade smooth just like this. Click the little triangle. Go down to where it says normals. There we go. And then click auto smooth. And then it should auto smooth it so looks pretty good and now once again for this gun what we'll do is select this one click e extrude it just a little bit we also gotta click sx scale on the x-axis there we go and then extrude it upward just a little bit and now what we'll do is go back into nm mode we need to select these little edges on the side so make sure you're in edge select and yeah so these ones on the side just like this and we are gonna bevel these so there we go make sure we select that one as well and then just bevel them however much you want i would say that's pretty good because this one is a low polygon so i'm not going for too realistic right now now we're also going to select these bottom faces not all of them just these ones right here just these ones until it goes up here there we go M bevel just like that and awesome that's looking really good now go back into edit mode and we are going to grab a vertice once again so vertice select grab this one and now we are just outlining this little part right here which actually since it kind of gets smaller right there we're just gonna outline this top part and then click shift d and go like this and now we're gonna outline this bottom part this bottom part should be easy 
we just put one right there and then one at the bottom and click it Control b v and then we can just add a pretty nice bevel just like this and now we should be able to click l shift d and duplicate it and just put it right there maybe rotate it just a little bit and also once again we're going to select this one click f let's select this one click f and then select this one and click f just like this go back into the solid view and so is this one and this one let's extrude them just like this there we go now this one we're gonna move it inward just a little bit and all right now we're gonna extrude it and there we go there's our little magazine on the bottom just like that you can add more detail to it if you want to i think that looks pretty good right now though what we'll do we'll actually also add these little red things right here the little wrap around it so this one you just do the exact same thing how you did everything just outline it and then yeah there we go we now have our wraps on there just like that let's also go ahead and smooth that out once again so yeah i'm not adding too much right now but we'll click this little vertice shift d and then we'll just move it right down here just like this and this part should actually be really easy because i believe we can just go like that Control b v go ahead and bevel that Control b v and then this one right here Control b v and then we can also bevel with that let's actually go ahead and grab that scale it up a little bit and there we go let's select these ones click f select like this entire thing click f go back into solid view move it kind of towards the middle and let's actually kind of go into our gun to see if it's lined up which it isn't so let's select this one right here and let's just line it up the best we can and there we go and now for this back part this back part is pretty much the exact same how you made the front part so what we are going to do is let's select this one right here shift d and go back into this point of view and let's move past that part so since this one is kind of like longer what we'll do is we'll click sx just kind of scale it like that and yeah that seems pretty much about right now let's go ahead and extrude it down here maybe scale it down as we go as well and then we'll just kind of finish off with a small little point there at the end and we'll also make sure we connect these so let's go ahead and click i and then e to extrude which i actually made that way too small so there we go and also for this part, since we just kind of want it rounded, we'll click Alt. There we go. Select all of those and just bevel it just a little bit. And there we go. And that's pretty much how you do the gun. For all these other parts, such as this one right here and this one right here, you just grab a vertice, outline them, extrude them. Exactly, pretty much exactly how we did this bottom part right here. So, so yeah, very simple to go ahead and add those. And there we go. There is our finished gun right there. Now we're going to select this part and then this top part right here. And then we're going to click Control J to join them together if you haven't already. Shade smooth just like this. And if it looks weird, click this little triangle. Go down where it says normals. Click auto smooth. And then we'll smooth it out just like this, which is pretty nice. And if we want to see all the individual edges, since they kind of blend in, we can actually go up here, click cavity, click type of both, and then just move these up all the way. And there we go, there is our finished gun. That is looking pretty good. Again, you can make as many modifications to it as you want. Like this part back here is kind of skinny, so I might make that bigger. But it looks pretty good right now. Once again, to make this top part right here and this back part, you just pretty much copy the same stuff that we did to make this part. Just outline it with the vertice, extrude it, and yeah, then you have it. But yeah, that is how you make a gun in Blender though. So that's going to go ahead and be all for this video. So make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. And I will see you all in the next video.